I've, I've been watching this um, series a little bit of uh, Chimp Empire. Oh yeah. Netflix. So Chimp Empire is amazing, right? They have the head chimp, the, the, he's yeah. not the head chimp, but the, the, the alpha in the group yeah. and he's getting older. And so what does he do? Every once in a while, he goes on these vigor displays. Mm -hmm. He goes and he grabs Branch, he starts breaking him, he starts thrashing him, and he's incredibly yeah. strong. And they're all kind of like watching. I mean, yeah, I immediately think of people like they're deadlifting on Instagram. And I just think vigor, displays of vigor. <laughs> this is just the primate showing that displays of vigor. Now, what's interesting is that he's doing that specifically to say, hey, I still have what it takes to lead this troop. Yeah. Okay. Then there are ones that are subordinate to him, but not so not so far behind it seems to be that there's a very clear like numerical ranking there is like it's yeah. it's clear who's the number two number That's, three oh yeah i mean uh, probably who gets to mate first who gets to eat first this exists in other animal societies too but uh bob sapolsky would be a great person to talk about this with because he knows obviously tremendous amount about it and i i know just the top contour but yeah so number two three and four males are aware that he's doing these vigor displays but they're also aware because in primate evolution, they got some extra forebrain too, not as much as us, but they got some. And they're aware that the vigor displays are displays that because they've done them as well in a different context, might not just be displays of vigor, but might also be an insurance policy against people seeing weakness. Mm 